What's going on there guys? My name is Matt or Chewy as most of you will know me as and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at my initial impressions of the HP Reverb G2 for flight simulation. I'm going to be giving my thoughts on VR for a selection of flight simulators I use. Microsoft Flight Simulator, Laminar Research's X-Plane 11 and Eagle Dynamics Digital Combat Simulator. I recently picked up an HP Reverb G2 as my first ever foray into virtual reality gaming and figured I would make a video for you all as I touched on the topic very quickly in my Microsoft Flight Simulator video earlier this month. Talking of me creating videos, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, where you can explore new skills, develop existing interests and get lost in creativity. I've recently been trying to increase the production quality of my YouTube content for you all and have signed up to this YouTube success course. The specific course covers topics right from planning your video to editing skills and onto audience engagement. Skillshare offers a plethora of different topics from animation to design, illustration, lifestyle, photo and film, music, business, web development and so much more. Whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity or join a similarly creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep you learning. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership and after that it's only around $10 a month. The HP Reverb G2 is one of the latest virtual reality headsets to hit the market and until relatively recently was quite difficult to pick up at RRP. I was lucky enough to find them in stock on the HP website and with next day delivery I had it in my hands quicker than my brain could comprehend the £650 I'd just spent on something I wasn't even sure if I was going to enjoy yet. Having had a total of 2 minutes time trying out VR back at an expo in 2014 before picking up the G2, you could say it was a pretty risky decision to splash so much cash on a purchase like this but I'd heard so many incredible reviews about the fidelity of the visuals, I had to give it a try. I'll admit that so far for flight simulation, I've only really used the headset itself, not the controllers that come included. Due to the nature of flight simulation where your hands are most commonly occupied on the throttles and joystick, I didn't really fancy having to switch between those and the controllers, all whilst fumbling around the desk. The speakers were a pleasant surprise and I've had no complaints about them so far. I can imagine that with other VR headsets, even if the visual quality was great, if the audio was subpar, it could really take away from the overall experience. This is luckily not the case with the HP Reverb G2. That being said, I do often switch to using my Bose Companion 50 speakers just out of personal preference. The menu systems in my opinion vary with ease of use for each flight simulator. The DCS menus are easy to navigate and the options are clear, although the loading screen occasionally jitters pretty substantially, which can be disorientating. The X-Plane 11 menus can be fiddly with trying to center and I find it totally depends on the mouse placement on the screen as to how easy it is to read the menus whilst loaded into the scenario by clicking the right mouse button. Microsoft Flight Simulator for me is the easiest in both the main and in-sim menus, but I do find that once I enter VR mode, the simulator really badly lags when exiting back out of that VR mode, and the only way to fix it is restarting the entire simulator. The picture quality, however, in the headset is sublime across the board. With a pixel density of 2160 by 2160 per eye, the fidelity frankly made my jaw drop when loading in for the first time. That being said, there is still a noticeable loss in focus around the edge of the lens. I find that when looking at small text, I have to have it directly in the center of the lens to be able to read it clearly, but really don't have a problem with reading larger instruments or medium scale screens. I specifically remember spending 15 minutes on the carrier in DCS just looking around the FA-18C cockpit and admiring how real it felt. I was truly blown away. 
I'm using the G2 mainly for helicopter flying in X-Plane 11 and get so much more spatial awareness now, meaning I can land in tighter spots and make better overall flight adjustments. In Microsoft Flight Simulator, VR is all about general aviation flying for me. A complete change of pace from my usual style of flying. Admiring the beauty of planet Earth has never been so immersive. I remember getting my mum to put on the headset as I flew over our small Oxfordshire town and she was instantly able to recognise where we were. I'm finding that depending on exactly what type of flying I'm doing, I'm happy at different FPS rates. I can really tell the difference between 30 to 60 FPS in VR, much more so than I can do on a normal 2D monitor. I don't necessarily mind low performance in Microsoft Flight Simulator due to the flying being so slow paced in its nature. I'd personally rather have the simulator looking at its best but with slightly lower performance in this exact scenario. On the other hand with DCS, FPS is king. Flying around at 500 knots doing aileron rolls with 30 FPS is not fun and a totally jarring and quite frankly nauseating experience. I'd much rather trade off some of the unnecessary settings for things like autogen, which aren't really essential in DCS, if it means I can get the best performance possible. The great thing about these sims is that you can have separate profiles for normal and VR settings. I have by no means perfected or finalised by settings, but I've posted them on screen for you now so that you can see them anyway. If you have any suggestions to better them, please let me know. So, should you buy VR as a flight simmer, specifically the HP Reverb G2? It honestly really depends on what type of flying you do. As I'm sure some of you will have realised by now, I've not even mentioned any airliners or Lockheed Martins prepared in this video. And that is because I don't really feel that VR is there yet with that simulator for that specific type of flying. The performance limitations are just too great. I've not really tried VR in airliners in other simulators just yet, but don't really feel the need to do so either. VR is all about taking your immersion to the next level, so much so that I now almost feel detached from the simulator when not flying in VR. This is enhanced with frankly just how amazing the HP Reverb G2 is. The importance of having good pixel quality in order to read your instruments cannot be understated, and the G2 allows for this easily. It includes everything you need in the box and works flawlessly with the Windows Mixed Reality and Steam VR software. It's true to say I have fallen in love with VR and the Reverb G2 has invigorated my love for flight simulation. I get the same sense of immersion no matter whether I'm firing an AIM-120 off the wing of an FA-18C Hornet, cruising through the Austrian mountains in a Piper Arrow, or landing at the scene of an emergency in a helicopter. I can say that with a decent amount of certainty that no matter what type of flying you do, you can find a way to make VR work for you, or maybe even discover a new type of flying you'd previously left untouched. I look forward to seeing how VR progresses over the next few years, although personally I don't see myself upgrading from the G2 for quite some time as I'm only really using the headset very casually currently. Nevertheless, I wanted to create this quick video just to give some love to a product that has helped spark a new way to love flight simulation for me. Once again, a big thanks to today's sponsors, Skillshare. Don't forget to use the link in the description below where the first 1,000 people will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Thanks for watching.